In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a regression analysis using Excel. This video is not the click and get results kind of tutorial as you would see later on in another video. It is expected that you understand what regression is and you have a basic knowledge on how to estimate the coefficients of the regression equation. So we are having a data set here y x1 x2 and x3 this x naught column that i have created here is supposed to take care of the constant term in the regression equation so to indicate the regression equation i am going to use this data set so we have y is equals to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 so we have three variables with three uh, coefficients. This one here is what we have under the 1-1 one, one column. That is the constant term. So we need the 1-1 one, one to be able to help us in estimating that beta naught. Right, so let's go ahead and then check it out how we can handle that. So let me give you a heads up on how we are going to do the estimation. We're going to do it step by step so if we write the equation in matrix form we have it as this so we have the y vector we have the x matrix and then we have our coefficient vector so in this example we have uh, x naught to x3 so from the one this 20 there are 20 observations each for each of the um, variables or the columns so we have a 20 by 4 matrix for the x, we have 20 by 1 vector for the y, and the beta uh, coefficients, we just have 4 of that. So that is a 4 by 1 um, vector. So we're going to use this particular one to do the estimation. So i um, assuming that you have a little understanding of matrices. So to estimate the beta coefficients, we have beta estimate equals to x prime x inverse multiplied by x prime y so the x prime is the transpose of the x matrix the inverse that we've seen here we will have to perform this operation before we do the inverse that is on top there so the first one is x prime x this is x prime x so let's put that equation here. In Excel, if you want to start an equation, let's start with an equal sign. To write any formula at all, you start with an equal sign. So we have uh, equal sign. The command for matrix multiplication is m mod. Okay, so that is how we multiply matrices, two matrices in Excel. The first term we are seeing inside the box. This, this particular parenthesis it's x prime that's the transpose so that means that we need to transpose our x matrix first and this is our x matrix so i'm going to select that here and close the bracket comma then the second array that is the same thing now we are seeing something that we do not understand don't worry this happens all the time in excel Okay, so our new result should have been a 4 by 4 matrix because we transposed this and it became a 4 by 20 matrix. Then the untransposed X is a 20 by 4 matrix. So to multiply a matrix, you will need the columns uh, in the first matrix to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. And by transposing the X and multiplying by itself, then you have the inside dimension being 20, 20. The outside dimension is 4, 4. So the result is going to be a 4 by 4 matrix. So we select 3 in addition to um, where the hashtag value is, then 3 down. So this is the 4 by 4 matrix. We click inside the formula bar. Uh, when you see the formula, when you see the formula appearing here, Hold down your control plus your shift key and press your enter key and your 
x prime x matrix appears. The next one we want to do is to find the inverse of this x prime x matrix. So I have x prime x, let me say underscore inverse equals to, let's put that here. So we have equals to the command for this is m inverse m inverse so m inverse is the excel command to find the inverse of a matrix so we simply select this matrix this four by four matrix so to get uh, an index we have to note that we will need a square matrix to do this operation and our matrix is four by four so that's a square matrix so let's have this select three columns and another three rows click inside the formula bar and repeat the uh, process again Control shift plus enter so that you can see all the values of the matrices now what is the next thing x prime y x prime y so x prime y it's simple it's the same as the first one so we have equals to m mult transpose of the x so we type transpose select the x range close the bracket comma then y we come and pick the y range close the bracket press your enter key now this is going to be a 4 by 20 multiplied by 20 by 1 so we're going to have a 4 by 1 so we select here including the where the value the has value tag is and then go up to our formula bar and hold down the control shift key and press enter then we have our x prime y the last but not the least is to find our beta estimate so let's say b hat equals to let's have that what is b hat b hat is the multiplication of the x prime x inverse by the x prime y so we come here and say equals to m mult uh, x prime x inverse is this whole matrix put a comma then we select the x prime y vector close the brackets and press enter now again we do the same thing go uh, select uh, a 4 by 1 vector go up to our formula bar hold down your shift and uh, control key together and press your enter key then we have our beta estimates right here so we cannot write the equation the regression equation fully using this um, set of estimates so we have y is equals to into 2.13 if we uh, convert it to two decimal places minus because the second one is a negative value 1.6 x1 minus 0 0.17 x2 plus the last one is positive 16.4 x3 so this becomes the regression equation so we have simply estimated the regression line using the matrix approach in excel so in the next video, we'll look at how we perform the click to get results kind of um, regression analysis in Excel. Thank you for watching.